What does the Catholic Church teach about contraception? In God's divine plan, the marital act unites spouses in love and gives rise to new life. God has established an inseparable connection between these unitive and procreative purposes of marital love. This means that when a couple rejects one of these beautiful purposes of their sexual union, they harm their spouse and their marriage, even if their intentions are good. This crucial teaching is rarely given in places where everyday Catholics can hear and consider it. Sadly, this has led to a widespread ignorance and rejection of the Catholic teaching on contraception. Contraceptive intercourse involves a choice against the possibility of new life in order to prevent pregnancy. It deliberately makes infertile a sexual act within marriage that should be fertile. The couple who freely and knowingly does this commits a mortal sin. There are two main problems with contraception. First, contraception is anti-life. It creates an environment where children are treated as an unwelcome burden, an impediment to personal goals, or an enemy to be avoided at all costs. Second, contraception decreases love itself. Marital intercourse without contraceptives allows for spouses to fully give and receive one another. There are no barriers. With contraceptive intercourse, couples reject one another's fertility. They protect themselves from each other, withholding a full gift of self. Those critical of this teaching often claim that the church expects Catholics to breed like rabbits, but this is not true. Following the teaching about responsible parenthood in Humanae Vitae and previous church documents, Pope St. John Paul II stressed, Unfortunately, Catholic thought is often misunderstood on this point as if the Church supported an ideology of fertility at all costs, urging married couples to procreate indiscriminately and without thought for the future. But one need only study the pronouncements of the magisterium to know that this is not so. When couples have serious reasons to postpone having children, they may do so by abstaining from intercourse periodically by using natural family planning. Spouses must prayerfully and responsibly decide when to have children, while always maintaining a generous commitment to being open to new life and complete love. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay connected to the conversation.